hello guys uh, welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show how to add a loading spinner it's a full page loading spinner for api calls let's say when i click on this update profile button i will show a full page loading spinner so here i have a button when i click on this i will show the loader so for that uh, let's uh, create a component of for a full page loader so here I use uh, JSX uh, file extension. So uh, for all the components, I have a folder and uh, it will have this uh, components inside that. So I'm going to create a file. Page loader dot JSX. So this will be our uh, loading spinner component that we use it along with the Redex. So it's a normal class component which will just have the container and the loading image. I'm going to use uh, a GIF image for the loader. So let me first uh, design the loading spinner in the container and I will position it as a fixed and show it over the top of all other elements in the page. Let's add a loading loader container. and the div which uh, we will uh, display the loading icon that is the gif image that we are going to display so this will uh, has the image gif image So my image right now is in assets folder inside assets image loader.gif so this is the gif that I generated from loading.io website so I'll uh, use it for the demo purpose so first we will import that before that we need to import the react I forgot to add it Now we will uh, import the GIF file uh, that we just saw. So it should be in assets, images, and It's loaded dot gif. So I use that image here. So we'll write some CSS to make this as a fixed element in the page. And then we'll use the loading container in absolute position to display it in the middle of the page. So if you want to copy this CSS, uh, actually I will uh, give the link for the GitHub uh, of this project in the description. You can take that from there. So you can actually clone the entire repository and uh, you can check the, how it is working and uh, you can check the whole code. Basically, the container will be in fixed position, and the image inside that uh, will be uh, the absolute position, and it will be placed in the center of the page. So I have a semi-transparent background for the entire uh, backdrop.
so i think now the css is done so now we just need to import all this in the root of our uh, page that is uh, my layouts so if you want to use it commonly across all your uh, pages put this inside somewhere uh, in the layout component somewhere it is accessible by all the pages so all my application was rendered inside this layout uh, page so if i put here it will be uh, used across all my pages so i don't need to worry about it later so i just imported it so this is the final output so see the entire uh, page is uh, covered with the backdrop and the loader is loading so now uh, we just need to uh, add functionality for uh, displaying showing this and hiding it uh, based on the state in redux store and then uh, like on api call how we can trigger this uh, see, uh, the loader so for that uh, i have a uh, redux uh, installed in this application so let me introduce a key call loading in the state or loader okay, let's keep it loading so by default it will be false that means the loading will disable by default it will be in hidden state by default so here we need to connect this uh, full page loader component to this redux for that uh, for, we will import the connect from react redux and then we will pass this component to that hierado component For that, uh, we need uh, we to set uh, state from uh, to props. That means, like we will get the fetch the state from the store and pass it as a props to this component. So this props is uh, will send it as loading, and it is inside uh, state and uh, the reducer is application. So the state dot application dot uh, the key is actually the loading is a key. So we pass this as a parameter. So this way, or uh, this will be available in the props for this component. So whatever the state available in the Redux will be available in the as a props. So if based on this loading status, uh, we will uh, display. Uh, so if it is not loading, that means if it is in hidden state, we'll just render or return null from this component. That means the loader will not be uh, shown so now if I refresh the page the by default of the application state is false so the load, loader will not be shown for that uh, you want to change the state to true to do it programmatically like uh, we need action for uh, changing the state so I am creating two action creators here one is show loader and one is high loader you can create as far as uh, however you want so to create only one action to change the status toggle the status so right now i'm creating two different action creators for that one is show loader which will actually change the status to true and high loader or uh, hide loader will actually change the status to false Now we have two action types show loader and high loader. So we will add this to the reducer and change the state, modify the state accordingly. Loading equal to true. Same thing for high loader or the loading state will be changed to false.
so now we we need to trigger this action creators we need to dispatch this action so for that uh, whenever uh, someone clicks on this uh, button you will uh, tri uh, uh, trigger the callback function from there we will dispatch this action show loader and high loader so for this component i'm going to create two function update profile Since I am using uh, Redex tank, I need to connect this component so that uh, the dispatch will be available uh, as a props inside this component. So if you know Redex, uh, you know about this. If you don't know, or if you do not know about uh, this thing, uh, just uh, follow the tutorials on uh, adding Redex to your application. So we just uh, dispatch uh, the show loader. And on some timeout for now, I'll just hide this after like 2-3 seconds. So let's have 2 seconds and again I'll dispatch a hide loader. So now when we go and click on this update profile button, it should trigger uh, the loading state and then after 2 seconds it will reset uh, back to false. So the logic is working. So now I am going to show how to exactly integrate uh, some sample uh, API in this case. It's simple, instead of set timeout, uh, we'll just uh, trigger this uh, hide loader uh, inside when uh, we get the response from the API. So for this I'm using API Axios uh, plugin and uh, just some sample placeholder API. So now inside the response when we get the response success we will uh, trigger this or uh, dispatch this uh, hide loader. So for you guys to show I will just log the response. So let me open the console. So when I click on update button, the API call will trigger. Once the response comes, the loading button will loader will be hidden. So we get response from the API. So that means uh, when we click on the button, the loader will be enabled. Once we get the response from the API, the loader uh, will be hidden. So this is uh, like easy uh, to implement guys. So if you implement this thing, you can use it for any application, any API calls, any whatever, wherever the action you have inside your application you can use the same component you just need to trigger this action created from that place that's it thanks for watching the video please subscribe for more videos like this